So, welcome to a quick and efficient giant foundry guide. So before we get started, I'd like to show you how the whole process actually works. But before we get into it, I'd just like to show you the basic graphic that I made so that... Because most people are confused about the temperatures, so just follow this image, you can pause, and now we're gonna get into the whole process. So first, you mold your metal. Then you start hitting it with a hammer to shape it, like roughly shape it. Then you shape it more precisely against the grindstone. And at the end you polish it. So, now that we've seen all of it, you can now kind of understand how the heat works during all of these procedures. When you're hitting it with a hammer, you're losing heat because it's already super hot. Then when you're grinding against a grindstone, you're making heat because of friction. And at the end, when you're polishing it, polish is kind of cool and cold, so you're also kind of losing heat. So hopefully that gave you a rough idea what we're going to be doing and why. So first, for the gear, all you will really need is ice gloves. The rest can be fashion skate because you get run and energy as you go. You get your task, you melt down bars, so here, hold up. There was a Reddit post that can explain it a lot easier than I do, it's on, on the screen right now and I'll also link it in the description. Basically the most efficient way to, to do is like a split but not a half-half split, like a two-thirds, two one-third. So, when you're done putting in your metal, you go to shape the mold. The interface is super nice, just click the lengthiest green bars that you, that you can, it's really simple. That's gonna give you the most points, and then you go pour, pour it in, your ice gloves are gonna make your uh, gameplay a lot easier. You pick it up, and then we're gonna start doing the tasks. It's super simple, now that you understand what you need to do. Basically, just need to, to keep it within range. Uh, first, we're gonna hit it with a hammer. We need to cool it down to the top line of the red bar, so the temperature is nice. Then we're gonna start hitting it, but because we're hitting it, it the temperature is gonna slowly fall down. Uh, when it reaches the, the bottom part, we go and heat up the sword again. We're gonna dunk it in the lava pool and that's gonna be basically it. So now the next task is to polish it. So as we said before, we're gonna need to, we need to keep the heat high again. So by this time the top part of the green bar, so the bottom bar, uh, and we're gonna go and polish. Same concept as basically hammering it. Just that the temperature has to be on the lower side. And now the last task that we haven't done is the grindstone. So we will need to keep the temperature on the low side of the middle bar and because we're gonna be shaping it a bit more pre precisely we are gonna be basically uh, uh, heating up the item as we go so when it hits the top side we will need to uh, dunk it in water just so that it cools down again and then we can pr proceed and then we just rinse and repeat depending on the task that we have now i'm gonna fast forward to the end Basically, we have seen all the tasks, we're just gonna rinse and repeat, it's pretty straightforward, we hand it in and we get a bunch of points. You can buy molds to get better metal score, and then potentially more points, I'm not 100% sure yet, i only done this on the iron and I haven't bought anything yet, so... But yeah, this is basically it. Uh, have fun! <laughs> 